Hey, are you low on coins and need some more? Look no further than InstantMaddenCoins.com. They offer instant deliveries and 24-hour support on all platforms. Use code Ryan at checkout for 10% off. So, common knowledge, fun tip of the day. Play your solo challenges. I know people hate that phrase, like, play your solo challenges, but damn. 91 Speed Edition Willie Brown out of a solo challenge? Like, really? I mean, that's just a free solo challenge in the game. You don't even have to have requirements for that. 465,000 coins. Yeah. Solo challenges are amazing. Episode 2 of Pack and Play starts right now. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to episode number 2 of Pack and Play. And we got our hands full here. Akeem Tlaib, we got Goldson, and we got Colin Kaepernick on the other team. But we do have that captain, Steve McNair, and we're looking to have a pretty good game in our debut with the 2017 edition of Pack and Play. And we started off with a fumble on the kick return. What better way to start off than with a fumble? Typical Madden 17 for you. But Colin Kaepernick on the other team here, dropping back, throwing a ball. I've never seen that animation before. And Byron Jones co comes away with the ball. So we're already two turnovers in, and the game just started. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and find Dante Moncrief here on the crossing route. And we're going to pick up that first down. And this is where the weakness of the team is going to lie right off the bat. I love to run the football, and Mike Davis is not the type of running back that I want on this team so hopefully at some point we can get an upgrade but we do have 99 steve mcnair we have that to fall back on we have a couple of decent receivers here that we can get open and make some plays downfield so you know moncrief is going to be a big part of the offense and of course we have the sterling sharp which i'm really hoping is going to be what i think he's going to be uh he's not going to burn anybody he's not going to do anything spectacular but he's going to grab the ball and you know get a couple of first downs that we need clutch first downs and move the chains for us uh, throughout the course of, ga of games that we play so you know hopefully we can also get an upgrade there at some point to give McNair a real true number one weapon uh, but here is my rustiness of Madden showing I'm just trying to go deep I'm trying to you know make a big play for the pack and play uh, you know debut here our gameplay number one and trying to make something happen downfield didn't really work and now we're in a fourth down situation we're just gonna go ahead and go for it it's too long for a field goal and I feel like my defense could stop him so we end up getting the first down to of course Dante Moncrief uh, next play here, we try to run a Wildcat to Talia Farrell. That was not working out. So second down and 13, Steve McNair in the shotgun. And we're going to be looking here. The guy that we're talking about earlier, Sterling Sharp with the first. That's exactly what we need him to do here. Down to the 17-yard line. And we got Brashard Perriman with the catch. Down to the one. And now we're just going to go ahead and try to do a QB sneak with McNair a couple of times. Let's see if we can punch it in. And I'd like to consult Draymond Green for the commentary here. Did we get it in our first try? Nope. Second try? Nope. Are we going to run a halfback toss? Yup. Did we score a touchdown? Yup. We're up 7-0 on this guy early on in the game after a fumble and then a turnover by him. Two turnovers in. Second quarter, 337 left. Let's get another one. Let's go ahead and bust this lead wide open. He's only one for like eight with Kaepernick right now. Not looking too good as we get a big hit here with a Rackpo user. I, I keep seeing all this user hit sticks and, you know, user lurks and user this, user that, user spin. Does anyone else just, you know, get scared that they fumbled the ball or they got a fumble? Like, you're not used to seeing, like, user up there when you do something in the backfield. Like, it always makes you feel like a fumble, but we end up getting the user lurk, as it's called right now, the user pick. So if we do get one more of those, we get another pro pack. But Brashard Perriman, exactly why we put him in the slot right there. Just way too quick, even for being a silver card. Just way too fast for everybody else and gets himself into the end zone and puts us up 14-0. One more score and we still are only going to be up three scores, which means only one Mutthead pack and one Pro pack. But if we're able to get it up at least one more time and we're up by four scores, then we'll be able to open up an additional... Uh, pro pack there with the mud head pack like we have set in the rules if you guys need to be refreshed on the rules I'll do it every once in a while just to let everybody know Maybe I'll show it in a graphic again at some point But uh, this is gameplay number one and you know I apologize if I'm a little bit rusty with the commentaries and you know gameplays like I said um I'm more of a do a post commentary afterwards kind of guy I mean I am gonna try to do a little bit of live commentaries, but please excuse the terribleness of them when I do them because I'm not you know really used to talking while I'm playing and it'll just kind of throw me off a little bit so you know right now this is what I'm comfortable doing this is what I'm going to do for the first one but don't hold your head don't hold your head down if you don't like the you know post commentaries because we may end up doing a couple of live commentaries mixed in and who knows maybe we'll end up getting really good at it but Colin Kaepernick's going to fumble on the next play here and it's going to be 58 seconds left 
here second and goal he's gonna go ahead and try to get the touchdown on a quick slant down to the two and then he's gonna try to throw another quick pass over to i think hewitt is his tight end the campus hero edition he doesn't get it and then throws it right up the middle to byron jones who gets his second interception of the day and now we're down at the one yard line my mindset here was i'm just gonna go ahead and chuck it up try to get lucky and that's exactly what happens as he clicks in and makes a horrible mistake and brashard perriman is gone 99 yard touchdown and of course any normal Madden player would just be like, you know what? That's it. I'm out. 20 nothing. We're going to go ahead and win our game. And like I said in the previous video, had I have beaten him 20 to nothing and he rage quit after halftime, that would be counted as a shutout. But instead, we're just going to go ahead and count it as a normal victory up by three scores. And we're going to go ahead and rip one pro pack and one mutt head pack. So inside the first pro pack, we were looking for somebody to help us you know with our user control maybe like a linebacker or something like that so i was just going a little bit slow trying to find someone out you know maybe even a tight end would be nice i love to throw the tight end but our main focus here was to find either a running back or a linebacker so i was looking at mike morgan i'm like 84 speed that's not bad that's something i may be able to use there we'll go ahead and see and then we ended up getting an elite card and we got mike daniel so not exactly something that's going to help us out a bunch but someone that's going to be able to do something a little bit that can definitely help us you know get some you know pass rush and maybe help me stop the run a little bit on the outside i already have haloni nada so that'll be really nice uh so there he is in the starting lineup right there next to haloni nada nick fairley and mario edwards jr so next up was the mutt head pack and now in the mutt head pack like i said um, i'm starting to wonder you know should i only take one elite out of the mutt head pack or should we because there's, there's two different variations of elites here we have the normal elites which don't shake which means they're like the base elites and then we have the quote-unquote good elites that shake. Like, if I hover over them, you can see them shake. So right here, we got a LaShawn McCoy, 87 overall. Anthony Munoz, Speed Edition, 87 overall. And then the granddaddy of them all, 94 overall. Limited time only, Frank Gore. Um, Like I said, I'm trying to figure out, you know, maybe I should take, you know, if they're base elites, if they're like normal elites that don't shake on Mudhead, which, like I said, they're... They're the elites that really don't go for a whole ton of coins. They're not the greatest. Maybe we should take all of those if we get them in a pack. And then only take one of the quote-unquote good elites. The ones that shake on the screen. You know what I mean? So let's say I was to get a Mudhead pack. And then two of the elites in the pack were the really good ones. And then we had an additional elite that really wasn't the greatest. Like let's say a base set Cam Chancellor. Maybe we should take the Cam Chancellor and then choose either you know or of the two elites that shook in the pack which means they're really good let's say for example they were um the new 97 overall demarco murray and like uh a limited edition des bryant maybe we should only choose one of those and maybe i'll have the viewers choose you know which ones to take so just in the off chance that we do get multiple elites in the mudhead pack i'll have the viewers choose who they want me to take on the team in the comments below so that's going to be the first episode of you know the gameplay of the pack and play series that we're doing so episode number two overall hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i will catch you guys later please go ahead and show some support on the video by giving it a like and i will catch you guys later peace